What's going on my beautiful YouTube family? Today I'm going to show you how to create product targeting ads using your auto campaign data. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. That way, as I give more tips like this, you'll get notified. So creating product targeting ads with this particular strategy doesn't require any sort of software. The only thing you're going to need is some data generated by your auto campaign. So if you have at least 30 days worth of data generated from an auto campaign, you'll be able to implement this strategy right away. And what's really neat about product targeting ads is they allow you to basically leverage other placements apart from keyword targeting. So keyword targeting is great, right? So a customer will type in a keyword, they'll be able to find your product. That's fine and dandy. But this particular strategy now lets you diversify your targeting methods and it will allow you to now target your top competitors ASINs directly. And if your listing is much better than your top competitors and you have a better offer, it'll allow you to funnel extra sales that you wouldn't have been able to generate if you're just relying on keywords alone. So it does allow you to diversify your advertising methods and it's extremely powerful if done correctly. All right, so to get your product targeting ad set up, the only thing you'll need to do is actually download your advertising reports. So go ahead and go to your advertising reports inside campaign manager and then click on create report. And you can leave this as is and just run the report, okay? And once your advertising report loads up, we'll go ahead and now look at the advertising report and extract the ASINs that you're performing the absolute best. Okay, perfect. So once you have your ad reports loaded up, what I want you to do is now filter through some of this data. So go ahead and click on data up at the menu bar, then click filter. And on section P, what I want you to do is on the little drop down icon, go ahead and uncheck blanks. Okay, so now you're left with only placements that you have some sort of a conversion on. All right, so once you're looking at your ad reports, it's really important that the customer search term only has B07 and then a string of characters because those are going to be the actual ASINs you're going to use to add into your product targeting ads. And so once you're looking at your search, your customer search term, uh, make sure that you have also a campaign filter so that you're not looking at any sort of manual uh, keywords. And that should be obvious, again, because the customer search term should only be B07. So you'll know you're looking at ASINs that are being targeted from your auto campaign. So it's really easy to spot the data from your auto campaign, and it's really easy to copy the competitors ASINs and so all you have to do is now look at some of the information here like impressions clicks click-through rate and ideally wherever you're making money right whatever ACOS you're comfortable with go ahead and add those ASINs into a manual product targeting ad so let's just say that our max ACOS goal is 50% for a particular product I can already see that all of these products here under total advertising cost of sales are under that 50% threshold. So we'll go ahead and add these into a campaign, right? So all you're gonna need to do is just simply copy them. And what I like to do is add them into a Google Doc. So let's go ahead and go through that motion so you can see exactly how we set this up. All right, so it's really simple to set this part up. All you're gonna need is a Google Doc and you can label it whatever you'd like. Just to make it easy, I put Amazon PPC product targets and then I just have some information here, some notes just to know if I highlight the ASINs in red, that they're currently in use. If they're not in red, then we still need to add them to campaign. So I'll just go ahead and paste the keywords we just copied from Excel and go ahead and go through them, right? And once they're here, I'll go ahead and highlight them red, okay? And then that'll let me know, okay, these ASINs are now being used in a campaign. So well, let's go ahead and copy these ASINs and now actually create the product targeting ad inside Amazon Seller Central. All right, so once you're back inside Amazon Seller Central, all you need to do is click on Create Campaign and it's gonna be a sponsored product ad, okay? So let this go ahead and load up and then click on the Sponsored Product Ad section, which is right here. And let's go ahead and now go start creating the Amazon product targeting ad. So for this very first section, under a campaign name, uh, the first keyword phrase here. So if you're selling charcoal powder, you can put that here. 
and you can put product targeting ads or you can just put product targeting ads and you can put your ASIN right here. So that way you can differentiate uh, which ASIN and which product targeting ads you're creating, okay? And so for the daily budget, you can put whatever you'd like. Make sure you click on manual targeting and then under campaign bid strategy, you can leave that as is, dynamic bids down only. And uh, for ad group name, you can just leave that as is as well. So now we're at the targeting section. So this is very important. Make sure that for the targeting, you have product targeting highlighted. And under the uh, where it says individual products, right, you have two separate categories here. Make sure you click on individual products and then enter list because we're going to manually enter the list of ASINs that we got from our auto campaign. And you'll simply paste the ASINs there. Okay, then go ahead and click on target. And when it comes to the actual bid strategy for the product targeting ads, if you're not too sure where to go and if this is one of your first product targeting ad campaigns, I would go with Amazon's suggested bid as far as your bid strategy. So all you'll need to do is click apply all and Amazon will automatically update the bids for you. And other than that, all you need to do now is launch the actual campaign. Don't forget to join the Zonrush Facebook group where we share the best Amazon PPC optimization strategies that are working today for Amazon FBA sellers. And of course, if you found this video resourceful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next video.